A woman came on deck looking for Sally. And what she saw shocked Jesse all over again. Countless Sallys had been lying here. Jesse wanted to tell Sally the truth. When the sound of a fight came from below, masked Jesse No. 3 on deck, was knocked down by Jesse, who had just boarded the ship. He was thrown overboard. That's when Jesse realized, she tried to stop the ship. She couldn't. Soon after, she witnessed Jesse number 2, and also met a new round of Jackie. To stop the cycle, she dragged Gray's body out, and wrote a message on the mirror. Then she dragged Gray's body to the deck, and threw it into the sea. Jesse went to the ballroom, finds a new round of Gray and Sally, tells them to meet the others at the opera house. The new Gray and Sally arrive at the theater. Vic saw the masked man. He prayed that she wouldn't hurt him. He was surprised to find the masked man. The masked woman was wearing the same shoes as Jesse. The woman woke up. She woke up on a beach in a small town. Jesse rushed home. When she got home, she saw her baby. She thought the cycle had finally ended. Then she realized she was someone else. But she realized that the cycle was still going on. When the boy saw his mother, Jesse, in the window, the boy was so scared, he spilled his paints. Jesse had just finished cleaning up, and she slapped the boy in the face. Outside, Jesse was in a state of remorse. She decided to change everything. Jesse went to the door and quickly rang the bell. Then she went to the back of the house to the storage area. She found the hammer. Inside the room, Jesse came to the door. She didn't know what was going on. When she rushed back to her room, she was quickly struck by a blow. The boy was horrified by the sight. Jesse told him it was just a dream. Jesse put on her necklace and dragged the body of her murdered alter ego and dragged it to the trunk of her car. The woman tried to drive away, but the blood on the glass made the boy nervous. She turned on the windshield wipers to get rid of it and calms the boy down. In her impatience, she veers off course and accidentally crashed into a truck. As the accident unfolded, people were attracted to the side of the road. A boy with a musical instrument in his hand appears here, but then Jesse, who died in a long dress, and her child. The sunny day turned into darkness. Jessie, who had come back from a cruise, stood by and watched. It turns out she died in a car accident at 8.17 in the morning, and it wasn't until the driver behind her told her that he could give her a ride. She asked the driver to take her to her appointment at the pier. When the driver drove up to the pier, the driver said to her, you'll be back, won't you? Jessie replied. She was actually dead. It was a chance for her to say goodbye. But Jessie broke her promise. She chose to go sailing with her friends.